Welcome back to Per 2 of 2010 Second Quarter Prospects. Um, the next guy I'm going to mention is Luis Dutra Jr. 10 wins, 2 losses, 1 draft. 3 TKO, 2 submissions, 5'11", 170 pounds, 28 years old, um, Reno Vaco fight team. Both losses in his career came via injury, including a knee injury he received when throwing a kick in his fight against UFC veteran Paulo Tiago. Um, tremendous Brazilian middleweight who injuries have uh, kind of taken over his career the last few years. Um, but now he's healthy again. He has two decisive wins over UFC veteran Fabricio Camoz. And many Brazilian uh, uh, media outlets believe Dutra will become one of the most dangerous middleweights in the Brazilian mixed martial arts circuit. Now whether that is uh, going to be on the Brazilian circuit or the world circuit, I mean time will tell. Um, any any decent top level Brazilian fighter, if he if he can put together two or three impressive wins, then uh, I think we'll see him in a big organization. So got to watch out for Luis Dutra Jr. Next guy I'm going to talk about, um, and it's a guy I I don't have a lot of information on, but he is a, a successful fighter, Nazarino Malagari, 15 and 0, four knockouts, 10 submissions. He's a Brazilian fighter. It uh, trains out of Atik Duplo. Um, got a key win over the previously undefeated Eric Carlos Silva, another young Brazilian prospect. Um, he has a very tough fight coming up against another unbeaten Brazilian prospect on April 10th against Bernardo Duarte. Um, I have seen some, some footage in some of his fights. He looks very comfortable on the ground. Um, and of course, being Brazilian and having a big BJJ background makes makes sense. Um, tough, tough fighter. Um, um, looks like he's fairly comfortable on his feet, striking. Not sure um, where his wrestling is, and of course, that's another big question with a lot of uh, BJJ practitioners. Um, so this guy is still a big question mark. Um, and again, the same as with uh, Dutras Jr., Brazilian media outlets believe this fella will make the, the, the change to the big scene in the very near future. So keep an eye out for Nazarino Malagari. Next guy I'm going to talk about, and again, this guy kind of falls into the, uh, my, my outlook on heavyweights. Um, still an unproven fighter, has a long way to go, and uh, he's not a big heavyweight. But nonetheless, one can throw him in the mix. A lot of uh, um, American people, American MMA fans will know about him. Guillen Vellante, 6-0, oh, four knockouts, two submissions. Only one fight had made it past the first round. He's six foot two. And I got him listed at 225 pounds. His fight finder shows 215, but I believe he's heavier. Trains at a Belmore Kickboxing Academy. Um... Ring of Combat veteran. I don't know if anybody watches Ring of Combat, but they should because they put on some great cards. You have some great fighters. A matchup between Volante and uh, uh, Ricardo Romero would be tremendous. Um, Ring of Combat also has uh, another fighter like Costa, Costa Filippo. So if you ever get a chance to watch some of the Ring of Combat cards, check them out. Put on great shows. Volante has very strong wrestling skills. I believe he wrestled at Hofstra. He also played football there. But he also showed some surprisingly decent hands, and he looks like he's very, very comfortable in his submission game. Um, excellent conditioning, and good ground and pound. So, a guy to watch out for, Gene Volante. Um, hopefully, we'll see him step up and fight some, some at least B-level competition here in the near future. Next fighter I'm going to talk about, his name is Quinn Mulhern. Um, fights in the Santa Fe, Mexico, New Mexico. I believe this guy was on Bully Beatdown. I'm not positive, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he was. 11 and 1, 3 knockouts, 7 submissions. Santa Fe, BJJ is the camp he trains out of. 6 foot 3, 170 pounds, so a fairly, fairly big uh, uh, welterweight. Um, excellent BJJ practitioner. Tremendous, tremendous ground game. Uh, decent striking. Wrestling could use some work. 
Um, he had a recent decisive TKO victory over UFC veteran Rich Clemente. Um, he also had a big submission win over UFC veteran Chris Brennan. And anybody who's been involved in a sport um, or watched this sport, um, you know, in the early 2000s, the mid-2000s, knows that Brennan is a, a very tough guy to submit. He also beat up-and-coming fighter um, Ricky Legere Jr. His only loss came to uh, UFC uh, fighter and former King of the Cage champ, Michael Guyman. Um, solid prospect. And with a few more big wins, the guy you'll probably see picked up by a, a big organization in their future. Probably within the next fight or two he wins, if he's fortunate enough to win his next fight or two, you'll, you'll probably see him get picked up. The last guy I'm going to talk about, um, another promising fighter, Chris Weidman. Um, definite prospect to watch for. 2-0, and <clears throat> one knock at one submission. Six feet tall, 190 pounds, 25 years old. Trains under Matt Sarah and Ray Longo, so tremendous training um, coaches. Four-time collegiate wrestling All-American at uh, Nassau Community College and Hofstra University. After only eight months of training, um, he submitted James Brasco, a former BJJ World Champ in 2007, to qualify for the 2009 Abu Dhabi Submission Wrestling Championships as a purple belt. Now in Abu Dhabi, he turned some big heads. He dominated uh, Spaniard fighter Daniel Tabera. Um, and he also had a highly contested matchup and a great matchup against uh, one of the best pure grapplers um, in the sport, Andre Govayo. He gave Govayo a serious run for his, uh, his money and uh, turned a lot of heads. So, Wyman has good um, jiu-jitsu. He has uh, decent striking strong wrestling and he's got tremendous coaching he's in a good camp um Luongo, uh, Longo is an excellent co uh, uh striking coach Matt Sarah of course former UFC uh, both the weight champ um I know Wyman's only got a couple of fights but I think it's a guy you'll see fast track and if he if he puts together four or five wins he's only 25 you'll see him picked up um possibly by the UFC or Bellator, or one, one of the uh, mainstream organizations. So, got to watch out for Chris Wyman. So, that's it for uh, uh, the second quarter of Prospects of 2010. Like I said in the start of the video, I'd like to hear some feedback uh, on some of the previous fighters we talked about. Um, also, of course, we got the viewers. Next edition of the Viewers' Choice picks coming up so if you have any more fighters you want to uh, give a shout out to uh, let me know send me a message and I'll uh, I'll get them put into the uh, put into the newest edition of that video section until next time peace out thanks for watching